Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to take a closer look on this Christopher Watt C60 Trident Pro 638mm with the white dial. I have did an unboxing video for this piece where I mentioned a couple of things I like about this and they still hold true. If you're interested to see the very well thought of packaging, please click the link in the card at the top right corner here. Let me just, yep. Maybe here. Yep. Let's start with some brief history of the brand Christopher Ward. Christopher Ward is a micro brand that started in the UK in around 2004 or 2005 and has since has many followers. Most of their watches have movements from either ETA or Solita, but in 2014, they came up with their own in-house movement, the Caliber SH21. But today, our focus is on this piece, so let's get straight into the specifications of the watch. This piece here has a case diameter of 38mm excluding the crown. It has a thickness of 12.7mm and the lug to lug distance is 45mm. But if you were to look at the center link, the fixed center link, the lug to lug distance is about 48mm. It has a 20mm lug width. The case has its finishing inverted compared to most of the other dive watches that I have. The top is highly polished and with its sides brushed. The edges of the case are very well defined and clean. It gives the feeling of high precision and high quality when held in the hand. From the side, the case arches nicely making it very nice to wear. The ends of the lugs have cut off that makes the lug to lug distance effectively smaller. It has a coin edge bezel with a ceramic bezel insert. The markings on the inserts are engraved and they are filled with white paint. It is a 120 click unidirectional dive bezel. The action of the bezel is very positive and there is almost zero back play. The top is protected by a flat sapphire crystal with an anti-reflective coating on the underside. It has a screw down crown with a twin flag logo. The twin flag is a logo for Christopher Ward because they are a company from the United Kingdom and they make their watches in the Switzerland. It has a water resistance of a whopping 600 meters. Yes, it's 600 meters. I'm not sure if I would be able to go that deep. But well, I'm not a scuba diver anyway. But the high water resistance goes to show that Christopher Ward really put in some effort in their watch design. And there is a sense of pride and confidence in that. That is a really nice assuring factor that you can get, you know. The face of the watch is very interesting. The dial has a wave pattern on it. It's a little like my Omega Seamaster Professional. All the indices are baton shaped and they are applied with a double baton for, for the 12 o'clock markers. The logo, automatic word and 600 meter is printed. The placement and the font type of the logo is something that get debated a lot online. I will not really go into that, but in short, I like the logo and the placement as it is kind of unique. And frankly speaking, the old logo with the chr dot ward always reads like the word coward to me. No offense, but uh, yep, it I always tends to misread that as uh, the word coward. The minute hand is a combination of a sword shape and maybe a syringe and the hour hand has a water droplet shape that is something very special and boy the trident on the second hand is straight up from aquaman i guess they should have sponsored the aquaman movie there are loom on all the indices and hands there is a lollipop tip on the second hand with loom i'm not sure what kind of loom compound that they use but I would say they are just okay. There is also a loom pip on the bezel. 
Let's get straight into the movement of the watch. The movement is a Swiss made Salita SW200 with ETA tightening its distribution to other non swatch watch group companies. It is only natural for Christopher Ward to use Salita. As usual, the movement has a rated accuracy of plus minus 20 seconds per day, beats at 28,800 beats per hour, and has a 38 power. 38 hours power reserve. It is hand windable and it is hackable. The bracelet is a love and hate affair for me. It has solid end links and solid links all over. It has a male clasp with push button deployant. All the links are held together by push pin. It's a bi-directional push pin whereby you can push the pin out from any direction, but there is a collar, a very big collar in the mid middle links that hold the push pin and the links together. What I really like about this bracelet is here. Okay, as you can see, it has a, a, what a Christopher Ward calls a micro adjustable ratchet clasp. It acts as both as a micro adjustment and a dive extension. Let me just show you how it works. So we just pull down the lever here and you can leave the bracelet extend all the way out. So if you need to make it smaller, you can just always click. So they are all together for position on this micro adjustable ratchet clasp. So this is something that I really love and I do feel that all watches should have this kind of micro adjustment. But what I dislike about this bracelet is the fact that there is a very wide, highly polished center link. As you can see, the center links are white and it is highly polished. And one of the main problems that I always get is that, let's say when you put this on your wrist and you know, by the end of the day or maybe by after a few hours, you can see that all the center links get smudged up very bad. And for polished links, scratches tends to show a little bit more. As you can see from here, I think there is already a ding on this center part. And if you look at where the micro adjustment is, you can see that the center link here it's already very badly scratched up. This is my only complaint on the bracelet. So let's do a wrist shot. All right, this is how the watch looks on my six inch wrist. In my opinion, it sits very nicely and it fits my small wrist very well because of the small diameter and the short lug to lug distance. It's not too thick also, I guess. And this is how the clasp look Okay, I think I forgot to show the case back of the watch. So this is how the watch looks like from the back. It has a solid screw down case back with a very nicely engraved Christopher Ward Trident logo with the wave pattern. I think it is very nicely done. It is a combination of polish and brush finishing. Okay, let's wrap up the video. I have been wanting to get a white dull black bezel dive watch for the longest time. There are some old discontinued Seiko 5 sports that have this kind of color combination, but the prices of those use pieces are just too crazy in my opinion. I have been looking at Christopher Ward for a while and the 28mm is really a sweet spot. With so many positive reviews, I knew it wouldn't be bad. What made me finally pull the trigger was the Christmas sale. And this to me is certainly a very precisely built timepiece for the price and it is a better bargain than maybe my Tech Hoyer if you wouldn't mind a micro brand. So I guess that's it for this video. Please don't forget to follow me on my Instagram at gfw underscore watch and please help me by subscribing to my channel if you haven't done so. It does really help me a lot and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.